Hi friends, this is Shiva. Welcome back to channel. Right now I'm in Dambulla and you can see the hotel Golden Ray behind me and there's a restaurant over there and there's a pool on the other side of my room and today I'm going to visit Dambulla Cave Temple and Tooth Relic Temple and it takes hardly around 10 to 15 minutes to reach Dambulla Cave Temple and from there it takes around 1 to 1 and a half hour to reach uh, Kandy and in Kandy I'm going to visit uh, Tooth Relic Temple today and uh, in this video I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you uh, Dambulla Cave Temple if you are new here, do subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below over here. I had collected my entry tickets. It costs around 1500 Lankan rupees for foreigners. There is only one ticket counter that is located in the southern entrance. Now I need to climb up here to the temple complex. And one more thing to note, there are no services at the top. And there are 600 to 700 steps which you need to climb. Beware of monkeys while climbing up. You can take some nice shots while climbing up. It's very scenic to see the countryside. You can leave your footwear in the shop which is located at the side of the gate. They charge around 50 Rankan rupees. And you should wear modest class in order to enter the temple complex. As I reached the top, it was drizzling. Make sure you take your water with you. On a similar note of water management, make sure you go to the bathroom at the bottom too. If you are staying for sunset, consider packing a snack. Most visits takes 1 to 2 hours. You might think that 5 cave temples would take a while to visit. But in reality, they are small rock overhangs. If you are in good shape, you can blaze up and down the hill in an hour. Dambulla Cave Temple and Dambulla Rock Temple are two different names for exactly the same place. You might also hear Cave Temple and Cave Temple since there are, in fact, five separate caves. The Golden Temple and the Cave Temple are part of the same temple complex. The Golden Temple is at the bottom of the hill close to the main road and the cave temple is at the top of the hill. Realistically, you should go ahead and visit the golden temple and cave temples at the same time that are basically right next to each other. The temple is composed of 5 caves of varying size and magnificence. The caves built at the base of a 150 meter high rock during the Anuradhapura and Polanuvara times. The, out of the five, there are three main caves. The first one is Cave of the Divine King. The first cave is called Devarajalena or Cave of the Divine King. An account of the founding of the monastery is recorded in a first century Brahmi inscription over the entrance to the first cave. And the second one is Cave of the Great Kings. This is the largest cave in addition to 16 standing and 40 seated statues of Buddha. And coming to the next one, Cave of the Great Kings. This is the second and largest cave. In addition to 16 standing and 40 seated statues of Buddha are the gods Saman and Vishnu, which pilgrims often decorate with garlands and finally statues of King Vatagamani Abhaya, who honored the monastery in the 1st century BC. And coming to the third cave, this is the great new monastery the third cave, the Maha Alut Vihara, this is the great new monastery, acquired ceiling and wall paintings in the typical candy style during the reign of Kirti Sri Rajasinha. He is, the, he is a famous Buddhist revivalist.
Once you are done with the visiting the temple complex, you can now get down to this main entrance where the golden statue of Buddha is located. It takes around 15 to 20 minutes to reach the downhill and it's very picturesque and you can take some nice photographs while getting down the hill. This is the golden Buddha statue which is located at the main entrance. Most of the chocolates do enter from here. I am heading to the candy in order to see the Tut Relic Temple. 